Hi there, my name is Ty Dandridge Bancio, and welcome back to Kids Corner, where you can learn fun, easy crafts and art projects that you can create using materials available to you in your own home, supported by Side Street Associates. This is the first video in a four-part project series that photographer Darlene Perkins has allowed us to share with you. It's all about smartphone cameras, how to use them, some neat tricks for taking more dynamic photographs, and exploring apps that allow you to edit your photographs into amazing works of art. Alongside each episode will be a complimentary PDF in the description that explains each of these assignments in just a little bit more detail, so be sure to download that after watching this. I hope you'll join me for this mini-series, it's sure to be a lot of fun. The topic of today's project will be the Rule of Thirds, a term coined by John Thomas Smith in 1779. The Rule of Thirds is a guideline for composing elements of visual information for an image that can be applied to things like films, paintings, and photographs. The main idea of the rule of thirds is that an image should be imagined as being divided into nine equal parts by two equally spaced horizontal lines and two equally spaced vertical lines. And the important parts of the picture should be placed along those lines with special care to avoid placing anything within the center square. The idea here is that simply placing something in the center of the frame makes for a somewhat static looking photograph. Well, placing things within the outside boxes makes the picture a little bit more dynamic and visually compelling. Now, it's important to know that this is mainly a guideline, and it typically applies to landscape photography, but not always. There's plenty of good photographs that don't follow this rule and are still visually appealing. That said, following this guideline is a great way to get started learning the basics of visual composition and a quick and easy trick to use when taking everyday photographs. So the first part of the project is all just going to be about experimenting with using the rule of thirds now that you've learned a little bit about it. So what you're going to be doing is just taking some photographs and practicing lining up all the subject matter within those boxes. Now what you're going to be doing to make sure that you've got that grid visible on your phone is if you're an iPhone user, you'll be going into settings, selecting camera, and then the option to switch on the grid should be right there. Unfortunately, I don't have an Android, uh, but luckily there's tons of people on the internet that can help you out with that one. So with permission from your parents, if you're using a camera or a different brand of phone from the iPhone, the information should be available to you on Google and it's pretty quick to set up. In fact, most of the digital devices that have a camera should also have the grid feature available pretty easily for you. Second part of the assignment, you're going to be using everything you've learned to now photograph a scenic picture featuring the land and the sky. So you'll want to take this picture two different ways. First, you'll want to emphasize the sky by having the sky take up the top two boxes while the ground takes up only the bottom row. And then you'll flip-flop, going with the ground taking up the bottom two rows while the sky takes up the top. The main part of this assignment is just showing you how which parts you choose to emphasize changes the photograph. Now there's also tons more ways you can choose to emphasize your subject matter. This is just one of them, and I hope you guys will definitely try that out. So that's all for today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you guys will take a shot at this and let me know if you do. You can find and contact us at Wasegamine Community Arts across most of our social media platforms, including Facebook and Instagram. Or you can go to wasegamincommunityarts.com. That's our website. So once again, be sure to check the description for a more detailed PDF description of the assignment. And once again, a really big thank you to Darlene Perkin for donating these assignments for us to share with you. So be sure to tune in next time for the next episode of this four-part photography series. And until then, happy crafting!